بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ونس اگین آئی ویلکم یو آل مینی آف یو آر ڈیمانڈنگ مائی ویڈیوز ان انگلش سو ہیئر آئی ایم اینڈ آئی ایم ٹاکنگ ٹو یو فرام اپر نیلم ویلی اینڈ اپر نیلم ویلی از ان آزاد کشمیر اٹس ریلی بیوٹیفل ہیئر اینڈ فرام دا ونڈو آئی کین سی دا لش گرین ماؤنٹینس اینڈ بیوٹیفل سینری اینڈ وی آر اسٹینگ ہیئر ایٹ Uh, a resort and it's a beautiful resort it's green village resort if you ever visit upper neelam you must come to this resort as well now i'm going to tell you about essay writing and the topic is improve your ielts essay score with relevant vocabulary now the target is to improve your ielts bench score with the help of relevant vocabulary and i'm going to tell you what sort of vocabulary is actually called relevant vocabulary so this is going to be the scope of this video i'll be doing two things i've got a handout i'll be reading some things from the handout and then i'll be explaining certain points as well so do you find ielts essay writing task the most daunting one the answer is yes many of the students they say well we don't have ideas to write essay Some say we don't have knowledge to write essay. Some say we don't know how to start the essay and how to write the essay. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a perfect solution for that. IELTS essay seems intimidating to most candidates as it involves describing a given topic at length and the length is 250 words. The essay must represent a precise and clear idea on the given topic. Two things, precise and clear idea. Along with a proper structure, correct grammar and substantial and relevant vocabulary. I repeat, substantial and relevant vocabulary for essay writing to get good bands. Okay, however, vocabulary plays a vital role in framing a good quality essay. It contributes 25% of your total IELTS essay writing score. 25% is lexical resource or vocabulary, that's what we call it. So in order to fetch a high score in task 2, that is essay writing of IELTS test, you need to be well versed with a wide range of vocabulary. In a minute, I'm going to give you some phrases. I'm going to explain some words which can be the band booster. I'll give you some band boosters as well. So let's see, why is vocabulary so important in IELTS essay? Generally, an essay is a story. Uh, when you sit to write an essay for IELTS academic or general writing modules, basically you're writing a story. Your essay tells an examiner about your point of view or opinion and an answer to the essay question. Thus, you must not only choose your words carefully, but also see to it that they are relevant to your essay. The words you are using, they must be relevant to the essay. Use of relevant vocabulary is in an essay makes it more authentic, captivating and optimized. Now you know what happens basically as far as the vocabulary is concerned. Uh, you got to read the topic of the essay. After reading the topic, you got to see uh, there must be the relevant vocabulary according to the topic, number one, and then there must be alternatives. Now, for instance, if the topic is about watching television, so you should know other words to describe watch then the other words to describe television if the topic is watching television for children so you must know the other words for watch for television for children because these are the three words which you will be repeating in your uh, essay second if the topic is about internet so you should know the other words to explain internet you can use internet one time but if on in the whole essay you have used the word internet 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 everywhere definitely that is going to bring down your bench score but somewhere you're using internet somewhere you're using online somewhere you're using on the web somewhere you, you are using the word website somewhere you're using the word social media so these type of alternative words and this is what we call the relevant vocabulary so if you're going to use the relevant vocabulary to uh, I mean you're using the synonyms to express the ideas definitely your band is going to increase but if you are repeating remember one thing in IELTS writing repetition of ideas repetition of phrases repetition of words these are the three things that uh, bring your band score down so if you want to get a higher band then definitely you have to improve your these things so far so good happy I'm making a video for you in English huh? many of you are demanding that from me anyways 
let's see uh, willing to fetch a high score in IELTS essay writing task here is a short short way and develop a wide range of vocabulary and this wide range of vocabulary will also help you in IELTS reading in order to optimize your essay use of relevant vocabulary is essential the very first step to writing an IELTS essay is analyze the question now remember it all starts with analyzing the question where you read the question you understand the question you discuss the question with yourself and then you make up your mind as I told this before 50 60 percent students are those when they write IELTS essay they go off the track their essay is not actually 100% relevant. It's not according to the topic. So if the essay is not according to the topic, you will not be able to get good bands and that essay will not give you a good band. So the most important thing is to read the topic, to understand the topic, to discuss the topic with yourself and then to decide that this is the frame in which I'm going to write my essay or this is the topic I'm going to write an essay on that very topic that's the first and the most important thing now let's go on uh, here is a list of different types of vocabulary that can be used as per your essay topic now I'm going to tell you the type of vocabulary and there are five types actually type one is vocabulary for a descriptive essay where you describe something so there you need vocabulary for a descriptive essay next is vocabulary that is reported speech vocabulary in a minute I'm going to give you examples also don't worry okay Asad Yaqub gives examples as well reported speech vocabulary conjunct conjunctive adverbs vocabulary for an argumentative essay and then jargon so these are the five different types and you got to improve your vocabulary in these five areas I'm going to explain them by the way to ensure that your essay is optimized and convey only the story you want to tell develop a proper understanding of all the above listed vocabulary in detail now let's discuss vocabulary for a descriptive essay if you're going to write a descriptive essay in IELTS for that descriptive vocabulary refers to explaining your thoughts in a clearer and precise way now let's see uh, you need to describe a person's looks and character in your essay for example if you got to describe somebody's looks somebody's character in your essay for that what you can do now I'm going to give you an example mr. Smith is a calm kind and at the same time a cheerful person now what are the words that I'm using here uh, to describe mr. Smith you can see mr. Smith is a calm calm is one word kind it's another word and at the same time a cheerful person cheerful is another word so this is basically what we call descriptive vocabulary and in this in this category normally we've got the adjectives because adjectives actually describe right so here words like calm kind cheerful they're all descriptive words and they describe in order to articulate your essay beautifully what you need to do is write an essay, proofread it, find words that can be described in a better way and add adjectives or adverbs to those words to highlight your message. For example, consider a word abuse. Now we've got a word abuse, we also call it abuse. This word has a meaning on its own. Abuse means form of mistreatment. Now one meaning of abuse is a form of mistreatment. Now we are using it in two different sentences in two different ways so that you understand. One is they abused her. They abused her and second sentence is they sexually abused her. Now see that we are using adverb and because of adverb it's, it's clarifying the meaning. So the first statement does not make a clear uh, what kind of mistreatment she faced. It's not clear when they say they abused her now they abused her how it's not clear in that very sentence right but while statement number two makes the narration clearer thus if you have uh, proper knowledge about descriptive vocabulary you can use it uh, to add uh, nuance to your essay is that clear that's the first thing now let's go on 
the second type of vocabulary is basically reported speech vocabulary uh, when you are writing an essay with reference to a secondary source or third party it is imperative to show the examiner that you have read or consulted these kind of studies previously and are familiar with what you are writing I'm sorry I'm reading from the handout this is where reported speech vocabulary is helpful. Now I'm going to tell you what is reported speech vocabulary. Just see, according to, now you can write according to the research, according to the survey, according to some people, according to me, according to whatever. So this is what reported speech vocabulary, which can bring more bench score if you use this wisely. Next, based on the assumption made by now after made by whoever made the assumption right based on the assumption made by it can be said that again it's a reported speech vocabulary because you are reporting what other people have said right next it can be as stated by as stated by some experts like that in fulfillment of in fulfillment of as specified by now specified by something or someone okay then it can be on the report of in the opinion of in the opinion of some wise people in the opinion of experts so these are some of the phrases and these type of phrases you must learn and this is what we call reported speech vocabulary so far so good okay fantastic now let's go on the next one is actually called conjunctive adverbs they are also quite help you in terms of writing good essay conjunctive adverbs coherence and cohesion now conjunctive adverbs are going to help you with coherence and cohesion of your essay coherence and cohesion contribute 25 percent to the total score of your IELTS essay writing task therefore it is essential that you maintain coherency in your thoughts throughout your essay you can achieve this uh, you can achieve this easily if you are aware of the conjunctive adverbs now please note it down you need to learn some conjunctive adverbs and you got to use them wisely in your writing so that you could get good bench score and again i'm telling you overuse of all these things will never bring you good bands you got to use them you got to use them wisely that will give you good bands now let's see we got some examples here are a few examples of conjunctive adverbs therefore and then there should be a comma therefore so you're telling something you said something before that's why you're saying therefore for example uh he misbehaves with everybody therefore nobody likes him therefore no one wants to talk to him or something like that however this is very very important word now it means what they said before now they're going to see say the opposite thing for example if they say it is raining outside and the weather is nasty however we will go out or however we made a plan to go outside right so whatever it is going to be now you can say like uh, it is raining outside and the weather is nasty however we will go for a picnic so however means still you are going to do that right next we've got nonetheless hence besides also thereafter moreover furthermore thus additionally and so if you don't know the meaning of any of these words definitely i would recommend you any dictionary and then you should know the meaning of these words in your native language you must know the meaning of additionally in your native language whether that is urdu punjabi hindi bengali or nepalese language or nepali language next is vocabulary for argumentative essay we're going to discuss that argumentative vocabulary is of sheer importance for writing an IELTS essay that demands you to argue on a given point of view some words that show an argumentative style of writing are credibility you can use this word bias bias opinion unbiased and all that credibility then facts insurance statistics hypocrisy and many more such words 
Knowing this kind of vocabulary helps you fetch a good score in your essay writing task. So you need to learn vocabulary for argumentative essay. And by the way, you can Google it as well. I mean, just go to Google and see. There you'll be finding some vocabulary for argumentative essay. The next one is jargon. You will require to analyze the essay topic at first. After analyzing, you can optimize your essay by determining in which discipline is your essay topic focusing. Then you can decide the type of vocabulary that would be specific for the given topic. Thereafter, you can look for relevant jargons. Now, what are jargons? Basically, they are the specific words for that specific thing. Now, for instance, if I'm going to write an essay on smoking, the words which are used for smoking, they are the jargon. So I'm, I can use that. If I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to write an essay on watching television, I need to so I need to know certain words which are used for watching television, viewing TV sitting in front of the screen, screen addiction, the words like that. So you need to use the jargons. Jargons are basically the relevant words, the specific words uh, they are pertaining to the, that very topic. Uh, so let's just see, for example, you're supposed to uh, write on global environmental problems. Uh, in order to optimize your essay, you can use some specific terminologies like deforestation. Now, this is a good example of jargoning. Uh, the topic is global environmental problems. So, in, in global environmental problems, you are actually using the word deforestation. That's actually linked. And what is deforestation? This is a terminology we use when we talk about environmental problems. Next, we've got uh, resources. Next, we also use the word degradation uh, that relate to the global environment problems. So these are the words we can actually use. This is what we call jargoning. So whatever the topic is relating to that very topic, you should know some specific words. These particular terminologies are referred to as jargons okay so use of jargon in your essay will inform the examiner that you are familiar with certain words and terms that are exclusively related to the topic you are writing on so i hope you would have understood all these things and this video is going to benefit all the people equally those who understand urdu hindi punjabi and others as well i know some of you are going to be annoyed uh, going to be annoyed as well by thinking that make videos in punjabi make videos in hindi in urdu and all that but i want to make some videos in english as well because there is a large number of my students basically a huge uh, population of my students who can only understand English because their native languages are different so that's why I'll be making some videos in English as well if you like this video hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and tell me how do you find this video your comments are going to motivate me to make more videos for you in English. On the other hand, I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given here. You can contact me for that. An online class means I personally teach the class. I will come online on Skype. I'll call you on Skype or on WhatsApp. On one side of the call, there'll be Asad Yagub. Other side of the call, there'll be you. And together, we'll be studying IELTS. I'll help you. Uh, I'll help you get your required bands in IELTS right and of course I charge for that apart from this I've got another vlog channel that is Asad Yaqub vlogs you should subscribe that channel as well if you want to know further Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best from upper Neelam Valley from this beautiful green village resort take good care of yourselves Allah Hafiz